Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about what ship to build if you are starting out or if you are new to barring and sailing life skill and you just want to know what are the factors I need to consider before I go ahead and you know devote my time in building the ship. The first thing that we're going to discuss is the ship's pathing. So the reason I wanted to discuss this because I have a few friends that got the Ephiria sailboat thinking that they could upgrade it to a Volante, which is not the case. And as you can see, I'm showing on your screen the ship's pathing from Bartali sailboat up until the end game Carax. And I'm just going to touch lightly on this one as we're going to go more into details later on in the video. So one of the paths that you could take is by getting a Bartali sailboat, which is the one that I started with on my first video, but you could also up to buy the Eferia frigate or the Eferia sailboat directly from the market. From that point, you would be able to upgrade them to the improved version, which activates the captain cannons that are located on, you know, the left side and the right side of the ship, which you could activate with the left mouse button and the right mouse button. And then after that one, you could branch now to Galeas or Caravel, depending on what you got in the first place. So if you got the sailboat, you can only go to Caravel. If you got the frigate, then you could only go to Galeas. Now, once you got those upgraded ships, you would now have the choice between two ships. So for Galeas, you would have to go to Valor or Volante. For Caravel, it's going to be Balance or Advance. So Valor has the fastest reload time and later on we will be discussing the blue gear but it would also have the highest damage. Volante would have the highest speed and also have you know lower damage than the Valor but it's still one of the fastest cannons among the four. Balance has the stats in between the combat ship and the advanced ship and I've seen you know most people that want to build just like one character go for the balance but you know it's highly you know, not recommended by other player, mainly to the fact that it does not excel on other stats that can be maxed out with the other ships. And the advance has the highest weight and capacity. So this is one where if you would like to just explore and just do the bartering life skill and not do any of the sea monster hunting or, you know, the other things that could be involved in naval combat or, you know, traveling across and hunting other ships. So the next section would be the deciding factors that I myself used in deciding which ship to build. And the first one honestly is the prow because I was concerned about the look. You know, you're gonna be laboring um, months to get your character, might as well choose the coolest one. And the first one that I decided to go to was actually Valor. But after seeing the mats, it's kind of discouraged me and I went first for the advance. So I'm just going to go over the ones that we have currently. So the advance is the horse or, you know, the stallion, depending on who you ask. The next one is the lion, which is for the valor. The eagle for volante, you can see the talons are out. And the last one is the balance for the deer or the stag, also depending on who you ask. And these are the current prowess available in the game. You would see one where it looks like an angel, but it's actually a costume for the purse shop and cannot be applied to the characters. The next thing that I considered is the materials that are needed to upgrade your character. So as you can see here, I already have the Advance and the Valor. So I would want to build the Volante, but the problem is I would need to build the Blue Gear and enhance it to plus 10. And the way that you could check up on that one is by going to Portiferia and going to Portiferia 1 4 second floor. So let's go over some of the items that are needed to create these ones. So you can see here that if you're a Caravel Mine Cannon, it just needs 60 of the Coxpart Artifact Combat and 200 of the Moon Scale Plywood. Now, if we compared it to the Mine Cannon, you would see like the other ones are the same, like the Tide Died and the um, Bright Reef piece. But you can see there's an increase of 65 for the Coxpart Artifact and also an increase of 100 from the Moon Scale Plywood. And if we look now on the plating for the Galeas, it also needs 125 and 300 moon scale plywood. But if we go to the Caravel, you would see it's just 60 and 200. So these are the things that kind of affects it in a way. 
that you know if you would want to build a much faster character in terms of like the um the build time then you would definitely go to caraville in advance or balance route but if you are you know going for like the combat ship you want the lion or the um eagle prowl much faster and much more damage in terms of um naval combat or sea monster hunting then you would go to the Glias route but you would have to get all of these materials you know like more versus the ones that you would have for the caribou so that's one thing to consider um but if you're a patient yeah then like i would just recommend to just build the ones that you know you would want the most last but not the least are the ship stats and I do not want to give out too much information that might confuse the newer players or the beginners. So I'm just going to try and keep it simple. So there are four main stats that affects your ship's movement. First is the speed that helps you from point A to point B. Axel is from a full stop or, you know, a sudden stop. And going forward again. And turn is your left to right. And break is how fast you can stop the boat. And also it affects your turn. So, you know, once you go on the break and you turn, you can go much faster. So that's kind of like the gist of it. So for the advance, you would have 110 speed, 100 axle, 115 turn and break. For the balance, you would have 115 speed, 100 axle, 115 turn and break. For the volante, you would have 120 um, speed, 110 axle, 125 turn and break and for the valor you would have 115 um, speed 110 axle 125 turn and break and those stats are the base without any gear so once you get green gear which is purchasable in lima you don't have to worry about it now but like this is just like you know a way for you to kind of like you know, envision what your ship would be and advance it would be 124 speed 108 axle 122 for turn and break and you would see like the weight at plus 10 green gear is 20,900 and cargo space is a lot reload is the same and the damage for the cannons would be same across the board so i'm not listing them for the balance it would be 129 speed 105 axle turn and break would be 122 and the weight would be 19,400 with 35 cargo space and 30 se 13 seconds reload time. For the Volante, you see it's 134 speed, which is the fastest. Axle 118. Turn and brake would be 132. And the weight is significantly lower. It's 17,900 with only 20 cargo space. And then lastly, the Valor 129 in speed. Axle is 115, 132 in turn and break, and also the same um, weight, 17,800, and cargo space. But the reload time, you see, it's 11 seconds. So in terms of you know the green gear, it's kind of like balancing it out. But you would see like the significant changes once we go to the blue gear. Before we proceed, I just wanted to say that you know you would need a lot of crow coins in order to get the blue gear. This is not something that, you know, newer players would be getting right away. So the way that you would be, you know, kind of preparing for that is making sure you have all of the right materials that you could exchange for crow coins and then eventually be able to um, build those ones and buy the ones that are needed at Lemma Island. And the way that you will be able to see it is by going to Ilya Island house number three and just getting level one. And you would see here like the materials that are needed for those ones so for example if you are going for the valor cannon you would need the toro cannon which is purchasable at lima island and then these ones are the ones that you would craft with the lima island um, materials plus the sea monster hunting um, materials from the crocodile spots and then the kairos cannon i'm going to show in a little bit and the upgrade permit is from filiberto falasi so if you are really aiming for the blue gear which you know a lot of players um you know is not doing it's because you know you really don't need that you know blue gear if you just want to barter but if you want to max it out and have like you know the max stats then you know you would be able to so you would be going to like um this one the al naha island and you just work your way up so over here you would see for the cannon 
at Rasted Island, you would see the Cairo sail. And then for Tinbera, it would be the Prow. And then lastly, for the Lerau, it's going to be the Kairos black plating. So those are the wall blueprints that you would need to get those um, gear. And you would be storing it at Ilya Island and you would be crafting it um, over here. You can now see on your screen the base stats for the plus 10 blue gear with the ship of your choice. And I'm just going to go over the, you know, like the top um, marks for these ships. And also just a reminder that you can complement this with your sailing mastery as well as sailors and crystals. So like, you know, just build off of the base stats that you would want maxed out and then go from there. So speed, Volante takes the win on that one at 145%, including the Axle 2. So it means that it's the fastest ship. And turn and break, it's the same with the Valor and the Volante. For the weight, you can see that the Advanced take the win on that one at 24,500, meaning that it could carry about, you know, five more items and, you know, over um, um, overweight more for, you know, your barring trips. And then for the cargo space, you can see that, you know, Advanced also take the win on that one. If you are planning to do like, you know, sea trading, which I'm going to cover in another video, then like you will be able to do that. So for the reload time, Valor takes the win on that one as well as the damage. As you can see, 18,000 you know, times 9 of the cannons at 9, re um, nine second reload speed. You know, it's really the fastest the combat ship in terms of like, you know, damage dealing. So if you would want to, um, you know, do some sea monster hunting or, you know, do naval combat, then like, you know, Valor is one option. And as you can see, the balance have great stats, but doesn't excel much on some of the categories. Like, for example, the reload speed, um, it's, you know, second to the last, um, you know, after advance. And then the sea monster damage is just 15,000. Um, but like, you know, the weight in the cargo space is, you know, in the middle of advance and the combat ship, as well as like, you know, the stats for the speed. 135 speed is just 2% lower than the Valor. And... You can see that, you know, some people that opted out for balance that I know just wanted to have, you know, like just one character and doesn't want to deal with the other ones. So they opted out for this one. So guys, in summary, you know, I would recommend you choose the coolest ship that you think would be, you know, suited for your personality and then also the one that would serve your purpose the most. So for me, I did this path wherein I took the advance first. And then I built the Valor and then the Volante and then maybe later on this year, the Balance. So think about, you know, the stats that would serve, you know, your purpose. If you want to do like, you know, bartering and sea monster hunting, um, you know, side by side, then you go with, you know, the Valor. It's just going to take much longer. If you just want a character now to barter, then go for Advance. If you just want one, then go for the balance and then if you want just like pure speed going from island to island or you know hunting p other players then you could opt out for volante or valor so i hope this guy has helped you in your decision making and i will be putting out more videos so i would be really recommend um you know i'm um, appreciate a uh, like and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video